Okay, quick one today. I'm going to be doing a review of these winter motorcycle gloves that were sent to me by Kemimoto. Um, and I'm kind of excited to try them. I did a video a while ago about what I recommend for super cold riding. And the, the Reader's Digest version of that video is uh, by things that don't have the word motorcycle in the product name because adding the word motorcycle to a product name tends to add about $100 to the price. So I, in that video, I recommended buying um, ski gloves instead of motorcycle gloves for really cold weather uh, because you can get ski gloves for $30, $40. Whereas if you want to get gloves that have similar wind and, and cold protection that say motorcycle on them, you'll pay $130 for them. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to try these. These cost, I think $35, $35.99 or something at the, at the last time I checked. Um, you'll get them a little bit cheaper if you use the discount code that uh, I'll have in the description. But a uh, reasonable price, so if I get the same warmth that I do from my ski gloves, but I have the additional um, benefit of having um, a little bit of uh, abrasion protection and things like that that you get in your typical motorcycle glove, I will be excited. So yeah, I'm just going to check them out. I ordered a size large. I haven't tried these on yet. My hands aren't huge, but um, that's usually the size that fits me best, so we're going to try it. Um, so yeah, they're clasped together with this little thing, so uh, you know you can keep them together when you're not wearing them. Uh, anyway, they come in just this little zip kind of bag, um, and yeah, they look like they look like gloves. Um, you do have this knuckle protection that. Again, I don't have that on the ski gloves that I've been wearing when it's really cold. Um, another thing that I'm excited about is it's got this fingertip on the right hand that will work with touch screens, uh, my phone, my GPS, things like that. It's, it's also got one on the, the left finger if you're left-handed or if you just like to operate your devices with your left hand. Again, there's uh, more protection here. This is like a thick rubber right there at the palm where your hand hits if you if you take a fall, so that's nice. Uh, Velcro, so you can make it tight. That'll keep the wind out, um, and there's, a, there's, a, there's two of them, so you can right around the wrist and then a little bit farther up your arm. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what the material is. I don't know if this is actual leather or if it's kind of a faux leather, but it all seems good. So on the back, it does indicate that they're waterproof. Uh, I probably won't be testing that today. It's a sunny day, it's, it, but it's cold. I, I actually got these a while ago. They sent them to me, but then we ended up having this very warm beginning of November. So I've just been waiting for it to get cold so I can try it. Um, so it's chilly out there, but it's not wet. So I won't be able to test the waterproofness of them. So really what I'm looking for is, you know, do they protect my hands from the cold, obviously? Are they comfortable? Um, are they maneuverable? Can I, can I control my levers fine with them on? Um, how's the fit? All those things. Um, and, you know, right off the bat, I can tell you gloves like this are not going to be as sensitive as, you know, your MX gloves that you use for, for single track. My main objective for gloves like this is to keep my hands warm so I can extend my uh, riding season a little bit. Um, but I don't plan on doing like super technical things where I just need to feel like every little movement of the uh, the brake and the, the clutch. This is just more about uh, cold protection. So yeah, let me just throw them on real quick. Okay, so so they fit they fit nicely. They fit like I, I would expect them to. Um, I talked about my hand size a little. Really the problem with my hands in, in terms of gloves is that I've got a big palm and small, small fingers. That's just my genetic makeup. So typically if I get a medium sized glove, the uh, fingers are the right length, but the palm is too tight. And so I go with a large and it feels nice over my palm, but the fingers of the glove extend out a little bit past the ends of my actual fingers. And that's the case with this. So really the only way to get around something like that for my oddly shaped hands would be to get you know some custom made gloves or something. But this feels like what I'm used to in a large glove. So I would say the sizing on these is probably pretty typical of other gloves that you have when you're looking at you know small, medium, large, extra large. I don't know exactly how many sizes they have, but uh, these, feel, these feel right to me. And I don't feel any obnoxious 
um, you know, rubbing points. I don't feel any seams or just kind of odd cuts in there that would, would bug me. Um, yeah, and you can really, you can really make these as snug as you want. Um, and I've wished for that on some other gloves that I've used in the cold. I've wished I could kind of snug them up a little bit more around the wrist to keep the, the, the wind out. So, so far, I'm really liking the way these look. I like the way they, they, they appear to be built. And I like the extra protection that they provide over the ski gloves that I usually wear. Um, so let's see if they actually keep my hands warm and if I feel comfortable using my levers on them. So I'm going to throw on my uh, helmet with my GoPro cam on it. And that's the angle you're going to see from here on out. All right. This is what they look like from a first person point of view. Again, I, I do like the look of them. This, um, this knuckle protection seems pretty decent. But uh, what I wanted to do before I actually get on the bike is test out the uh, touchscreen functionality. I can click on stuff. I can kind of uh, browse around easily. You can tell the type of things that I normally click on because we have like motorcycle articles in my Google feed. Um, but yeah, I mean, I can, I can scroll around. I can even hit the little back button and the forward button. Um, it is not bad at all. Um, yeah, so touchscreen works. I'm sure it'll work fine with my GPS because even my non-touchscreen uh, gloves work okay on that. I don't know why, but uh, my non-touchscreen gloves definitely don't work on my phone. So next step is actually riding with it. All right, so I have been riding around for uh, over an hour now. Um, I'm just getting off of a higher speed road where I was going about 75 miles an hour. Um, I didn't want to start recording during that because uh, all you'd hear is wind. <coughs> but, um, and, and the reason why I waited until I've been riding this long, man, look at that sunset. Anyway, the reason why I've waited this long is because it really wasn't that cold when I started. I wanted it to be a little bit colder, and now I'm getting to the point where my torso, my arms are starting to feel cold. My hands are still feeling pretty good, and I can tell that these work um, at least as well, if not better, than the ski gloves that I usually wear to stay, you know, when I want extra warm gloves. Um, way better than the just the normal riding gloves I wear. And uh, in terms of functioning, I've had no, no issues at all with the, the feedback that I get from the levers. They feel very um, limber. Um, again, they're not, they're not gloves that I would try to do single track in where you just really want that tactile feel to be extra sensitive. But they're a lot better than my ski gloves that, you know, again, were my budget motorcycle winter gloves. So really happy with the way they feel. Um, no issues at all with comfort. They feel very nice and comfortable after an hour. You know, I can tell that they're not completely, you know, cold proof. Um, my hands do feel cool. I can tell that if it was significantly colder, you know, if it's 10 degrees outside or five degrees outside, um, I, I would probably want something in addition to these, like heated grips that is probably the, the direction I would go. And I want to get that anyway for this bike. But again, they're at least as good as the ski gloves that I, that I usually wear in cold weather and much, much more uh, limber and functional in terms of operating a motorcycle. So, um, so I can't speak yet to durability. Um, I may do a, a follow-up video uh, in, in a few months after I've had a chance to wear them for a long time. And especially in a few months, it's gonna be very cold here in Utah. So, uh, you know, I can, I can speak to the, to the colder weather um, abilities of them as well. But my initial thoughts are that these are a very solid uh, pair of cold weather motorcycle gloves for a really good price in my opinion. So yeah, thanks Kemimoto for sending them to me. I, I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of them. I'm liking them a lot. Uh, I hope this has been helpful to any viewers out there. As always, I, I appreciate you watching my videos. Subscribe to my channel if you feel like it. Man, enjoy this gorgeous sunset and ride safe.